Europe's hotly debated posted worker directive must go further toward of exploitation of employment and social rights. Many questions remain amongst those most closely affected. We are going to bring these questions to Polish MEP Danuta Jaslowiecka. Hello. I am Ulrich Petzold. In order to ensure fair competition on a level playing field in the European internal market, in particular for our SMEs, do you think that the proposed enforcement directive is enough? Or do you think it might be useful also to envisage a certain harmonization of social security regulations? So, does this talk to you in a way or another? First, what does he mean by this? If uh, you have a uh in host member state, better condition, you can use them. There are cases where the people, they, they don't follow or they don't understand how, how does it work. First of all, in my opinion, there is lack of information. Usually employers, they didn't know all the things and they make mistakes. Which kind of mistakes? For example, they don't know the condition minimum uh, condition in the country because in different countries you have different uh, solutions. There are countries where social partners can decide under collective agreement uh, what is the minimum wage and there are countries when you can decide on the local level and in different sectors. But some countries like Belgium, for example, complained last year because they saw workers coming in into Belgium working absolutely legally but for minimum wages of, of two, three euros an hour. Uh, this, is, this is forbidden. You have to know the condition, minimum condition, and you have to apply this condition, not the other one. Now, with the conditions, I would like to propose you to continue. There is a second gentleman you could click on here. Okay. He will Hello. talk to you. My name is Peter Faros. It is unrealistic for small business to be expected to check the legal compliance of subcontractors in another country as foreseen in the so-called joint and several liability. Do you agree? Among 28 countries, we have eight of them who established this joint and several liability system and it works very well. Of course, it's much easier to uh, join the system for a big company. It's much more difficult for a small one. But he just really talking about SMEs. They have a problem to, to get informed. Wouldn't there be a way to do it a bit easier for these people? I think that this is uh, the solution of a uh, logistic term. You can discuss with your subcontractor. Please send me month by month the documents which uh, prove that you pay everything in your country and you, uh, which prove uh, that you pay everything to workers. Another problem you will see with this gentleman we asked in Belgium for an, a Belgian union. Okay. Bonjour, Daniel Maratat de FGTB. Trouvez-vous normal qu'un employeur belge qui s'installe fictivement à Bratislava propose aux autochtones, donc à des Belges aussi, qui vivent en Belgique, des contrats slovaques à 500 euros brut par mois Faudrait-il pas mettre autour d'une table au niveau européen les organisations syndicales, les organisations patronales et les politiques afin, entre autres, de discuter d'un salaire minimum européen this is the case when company doesn't follow principles of uh, posting of workers directive. You have to fulfill minimum condition of the member states where they are more favorable. They shouldn't take this minimum, Slovakian minimum. They have to take Belgium minimum. A last question for this gentleman is, uh, wouldn't it be the time now to sit together, have a round table with the union, with the politician, with the workers to see clearly is the system working or not? <laughs> Did this happen? Or uh, I wish it happened, but as we know from our life, uh, usually when someone would like to cheat, they will always find a way how to avoid the law. Just now we try to prepare very good law, very precise, very transparent, very clear, and uh, very accessible for workers and also for employers to avoid the problems. But if we can, we will see maybe next year, maybe in the next several years. I hope uh, this directive will work well. Thank you. Thank Thanks you very lot. much. Thank you. Thank you.